Good morning, folks. Woodby Farmer from the Garden of Even, working on my latest project, which is to construct a small frog pond using sodium bentonite. I didn't know what sodium bentonite was. I'm sure there are plenty of you who are unaware as well. It's a clay that is mined out of Utah or Wyoming or planet Krypton somewhere. I'm not sure exactly. And there's various products, various companies that make, make this. I'm using a product called Pond Seal from a company named Aqua Block. Aqua Block B L O K. Here is the 50 pound bag. I'm not really good at this video thing, as you can tell. Always learning, all exploring. But anyway, that's it. When I started this project, when I started researching this project, I got onto several sites to see the various ways to build a pond without using plastic. I wanted to build a small frog pond going to be about six by seven feet, 40 square feet, something around that size. I wanted to, to use natural runoff from my roof, natural rain runoff, to feed the pond. I didn't want to use a pond pump. I wanted to use the appropriate plants to keep it healthy. And I wanted to do, do it in that, in that manner as natural as possible. So when I got online and started researching, there were a few people who said, oh, I've tried that stuff from Wyoming, I've tried the clay, it does not work, it does not work. And these people were credentialed, degreed, sharp people, so I was like, oh wow, this is crazy. Well, the, the companies that make this product say it does work, but that would make sense because they're selling it. So I thought, well, I'm going to give it a shot. As long as it doesn't cost a whole lot of money, I'm going to give it a shot. So I got three bags of the pond seal that I showed you for $25 each from Rural King in Ocala. And I figured two bags would probably do it, but I wanted to get three just to make sure. So here's, here's the pond right now. Started, started this um, last Wednesday, and today is Saturday. This is Saturday morning, so yes, started it last Wednesday. Okay, it looks like a big puddle of mud, doesn't it? Well, being in Central Florida, a very sandy environment, or... Soil is anything but loamy and far from clay. So, of course, adding clay to the soil is going to make a big difference for water retention. First, what I, what I did, I also heard some of the experts telling me that a, another option would be to do a cement pond. So what I did was I took some cement blocks that I had pulled out of our woods, out of the area, and I packed those down in pretty well. Well, as you can see, the uh, we have a cat that's using, using the pond, drinking some water out of it, so evidently it's providing, providing some kind of habitat for wildlife. But anyways, you can see I put some cement blocks down in there. And about maybe one third to one half, somewhere in that range, of the floor of the pond consists of cement blocks. A lot of them are very flat, different heights, etc., etc. So my theory was if a cement pond is possible, if a clay bottom pond is possible, why don't I do as much of the bottom as I can in the available cement that I have in the area and then use this sodium bentonite clay 
to fill in all the cracks, kind of do a Tetris philosophy where I fit all these pieces in, fill all the cracks in with the bent night clay, let that seal, put more of the bent night clay on top, etc., etc. So anyway, first day, I filled the water. I filled the water about halfway in, in the pond after I laid down all this all this clay, and it drained in about 20 minutes. And I was like, I knew it. I knew it. This stuff doesn't work. It doesn't work. I'm not using enough. So I just felt like it wasn't going to work. But I said, no, stay with it and let's see. Because obviously this is a this is a small pond. Oh, we have a train coming through. And it may need a lot more time to fill. So last night when I filled it up, I filled it about two-thirds full. And when I got up this morning, the majority of the water was still there. So the clay is starting to seal. It is starting to seal. It's starting to seal, to seal the pond. Uh, we have cat craziness going on now. You guys going to be okay? Anyway, I get easily distracted. I'm an ADD gardener. Oh, and if you're wondering why I have these on, why the safety glasses are on, in case you guys start throwing stuff at me because this video is so horrendous, I have eye protection. So, anyway, my next phase is going to be to fill this area around the top and make the pond a little bit bigger and a little bit deeper. And we'll try that next. Uh, that's what I'm going to do today. But anyway, I'm out of here. I got to get busy. Bye.